I'm Nilifer Erdekin-Tainer. I'm a neurologist and I'm also a neuroscientist. I care for patients with neurodegenerative diseases. That means I care for those individuals who have progressive illnesses that affect their thinking, it may affect their behavior, and sometimes their movements. So these are diseases like Alzheimer's disease, frontotemporal dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies. And I'm also a scientist. I uh, lead a team of um, researchers in my laboratory where our overarching goal is to find therapies and uh, early diagnostic biomarkers for Alzheimer's disease. I, I'm interested in neurodegenerative diseases because they have such a major impact on, on human health in general. They're very common, Alzheimer's disease is very common, um, and uh, there's currently no cure for this condition. So uh, working on a condition that has such a major impact on the population and also such a major impact at a human level um, is, is what drew me to, to the study of neurodegenerative diseases and Alzheimer's disease in particular. I think there is so much to be done in these conditions. And uh, there's, there's so much that uh, researchers and physicians and educators can do that could ultimately make such a big impact on, on a disease that affects um, humans at a, at a great scale is what makes it very interesting for me and what motivates me uh, to work on this condition. So I've been practicing as a neurologist for 11 years. And in my practice, um, I see patients with young onset Alzheimer's disease in their 30s. I see patients with uh, late onset forms of dementias in their 90s and all of the ages in between. And each of these patients teach me something different, something unique about human resilience. So if I have to think back at, at my patients, I think about um, a music teacher who continues to play the piano for others. Um, I think of the young mother um, who continues to go and, and cheer her young kids uh, at their sports games. And um, I also think about uh, the 80-year-old um, uh, grandma um, who is still able to form a connection with her grandkids um, long after losing the ability to speak. So. I'm amazed and I'm humbled uh, to see this human grace and grit. I'm incredibly fortunate uh, to be able to experience all of that. It teaches me uh, so much on a day-to-day -day basis.